Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I am coming with my new and improved skincare routine. As you guys know, I was struggling a lot when we first started wearing masks. So my skin had improved a whole lot. So if you want to know what I've been using, then keep on watching. And we are back. So before I get into what I've been using for my skin, let me put a little disclaimer. I am not a skincare professional at all. I had done a lot of research and this that I'm going to show you is something that has been working for me. Ever since we started using masks, especially eight hours during work and sometimes longer, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of breakout. All these dark spots that you see was breakout and it has gotten a lot better a lot better i'm insert a picture somewhere in the screen or i'm gonna send a picture in the entire screen so you can see how it was after it was getting better but my skin i have no makeup on zero i wanted to come clean no makeup so you guys can see how much my skin has improved and yes it has been a lot of research a lot of work a schedule i actually have a whole bunch of products that I've been using, trying, testing, and some of them don't fit. But doing my research has helped my skin so much, so much. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So let me start by saying that, again, I did a lot of research because nobody tells you that there are certain things that you cannot mix. I started by doing, when I was set on the things that I wanted to use, I did a, like a little schedule where I know what I'm going to use by day. Actually, I just updated my schedule um, last night and this is how it looks. It tells me exactly what I'm going to put in the, uh, in the morning and the afternoon. Not in the afternoon, I'm sorry, at night. And it tells me exactly what goes first and until what goes last. Just so I keep this, I reminded of things that I know I cannot mix. So I kind of leave a little bit of a schedule. That's something that you want to do. You can get it off the Canvas app or I will leave a link down below. But this is my little schedule. Every single day and I kind of alternate products, especially at night because there are some of them that I cannot mix. So here in this little basket, I got almost everything that I need. I got my face wash, toner, sunblock, microdermabrasion, I got my moisturizer, I have all my serums for from the Ordinary, this one is from Clean Skin, I have some from Pop Beauty, everything, everything that I need is pretty much in this little basket. And I have this in the bathroom. One thing that Ace has helped me out throughout this process is SPF. I was one of those who SPS of who? Sunblock. For what? I don't even go outside. Well, you need it. You need it. Even if you're staying inside, you need your SPF because with everything that you put in the morning and the stuff that you put at night to exfoliate your face. And this SPF that I have here, I actually have it from La Roche Posay. This is how it looks. This, you can find it at Ulta. It's a little bit pricey. I personally got it from Marshalls and I found it, it was 50% off. I know a, little, a lot of people are a little skeptic about buying products at Marshall or TJ Maxx. I personally don't care. I know every product has the expiration date, normally in the back. And this is a little bit tricky when you put it on because it does look like it leaves a cast, but as it melts into your skin, the cast disappear. I have it, I put it on this morning and as you can see, I don't have a white cast. Like my face doesn't look different from my neck. Another thing is that I do like to wash my face, not only at the, at night, but also in the morning. Why? Because sometimes I use the retinol and I use some other products that are to be used at night. So I wash off to make sure I don't have 
none of those products on my face at some point whether it's from your car to your job from your job to your car from the from the car to the store you do get sun in your face and you don't want to have the overnight products on your face i mean that's what i think now another thing that i switch up a little bit i be i was using a moisturizer and i did notice my skin as you can see is not oily i did get oil on the t-zone but other than that i will say my skin is like a combination not oily not dry uh normal skin but i did get to turn oily on the t-zone now i was noticing that when i use certain moisturizer which i'm gonna tell you because it's was one of my favorite or is one of my favorite moisturizer when i was using the elf hello hydration face cream and then i started putting like hyaluronic acid and then the rest of the things by the time i got home my face looked extremely oily so i decided to change this moisturizer instead i started to use cerave moisturizing cream i actually got these for my body and then i noticed that in one of the videos that i was when i was doing research this cream was recommended to use after applying retinol in your face um you know you have to wait like anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes before you apply moisturizer and they say that this cream after using retinol is amazing and i have to say i love this stuff it do not my face doesn't feel greasy now do use this in the morning and sometime at night if i wanted to switch it up a little bit I uh, bought this Pure Soak It Off Intense Hydrating Moisturizer. You can find this at Sephora. I want, I don't, I'm not sure if you can find that at Ulta, but once again, I found it at Marshalls. And it's this, if you want that intense moisture, this is gonna give it to you. But these, I use it at night because I don't like how this and this mix together. I don't like how my face feel. I don't like how my face looks. So I write it to, use the cerebe in the morning and apply it on my products and this use it at night when i'm not using the retinol now another thing that i became obsessed using is this be gone by pop beauty this is a clarifying sticker stick this was actually sent to me in pr so i'm not sure how much does it cost but i use this i think it's twice a week and this is good to calm hydrates and purify it to keep your skin and skin blemishing free and it give you that cooling sensation i do put especially around this area let it see for a little bit and then put my moisturizer on top and i it's, it's as you can see i've been using this a lot this is how this is how it looks it smells so it has like this minty smell and it leaves your skin feeling so cool so refreshing like i said it purifies your skin and this i apply in my face after washing it i'm hyaluronic acid and then i apply this and then moisturize and i'm good to go everything that i'm doing it has been working out i do work out i'm not gonna tell you that i don't but it's not as much as i used to so with that being said i'm going to show you what i use in the morning and then i'm going to show you what i use at night once again i will put the my little schedule somewhere in the screen so you can see how i change things around and then i'll be back so every morning after waking up i go ahead and look at my little schedule in the morning i use the Cera B renewing as a cleanser for normal skin these i applied a little bit a little bit goes a long way all over my face and make sure i remove any products that i have from the night before this um face wash is paraben free fragrance free essential oil free alcohol free and it just leaves my face feeling clean without feeling super super dry after rinsing off the wash i proceed with my hyaluronic acid from the ordinary i use like about four 
drops of this all over my face and as you can see my face is not completely dry this acid helps with um, replenish lost of moisture maintain healthy looking skin and provide a barrier support you can use it in the morning and you can also use this acid at night Then I wear like about 30 seconds and then I apply my niacinamide. This is great to combat blemishes and congestion on your face. I either use this niacinamide or I use the Buffet. Um, alternate in between the two and I do apply like about four drops all over my face. Then I go ahead and apply my Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution 12%. This is a lightweight water-based serum with a stable vitamin C. That's why you can mix it with other products. This um, treatment in the skin improves size of aging, reduce fine lines, wrinkles, uneven tone, and promotes a smooth and radiant appearance. Then I go in with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. As you can see, it's very, very thick, but I love this moisturizer. It's fragrance free and contains hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for bringing moisture back into your skin. I go in with La Roche Posay Anthelios Body and Face Gentle Lotion Mineral Sunscreen SPS 50 that you can use for your body or the face. Now, don't get scared when you're using this sunscreen because it does look a little white on the skin, but once it settles, it melts into your skin, it completely disappears and it stays on all day without leaving your face feeling greasy that's why i absolutely love it and it has become one of my favorites so far And as you can see, the white cast is completely gone and my face feels amazing. For the night, I use my CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser, same as in the morning. I just want to make sure everything that I have put on my face is completely gone. Then I go ahead and spray the Evian Mineral Spray. This is a natural mineral water fascia spray that not only refreshes but also moisturizes the skin and it tones the skin as well. So I use this with a cotton pad and just go all over my face. I have two formulas that contain retinol, 0.5% of retinol. One is the ordinary and the other one is for Alpha H that was sent to me through influencer. So I've been trying that one instead because it also contains vitamin C. Um, these are only used overnight and I wait about 30 minutes before applying the moisturizer. What this does to you is that exfoliates, hydrates and accelerates skin renewal for luminous skin. After waiting 25 to 30 minutes, I go ahead and apply my CeraVe moisturizing cream. I try to alternate between the CeraVe and the pure soak it off moisturizer, which is amazing, especially at night. But this night, I actually decided to go with the CeraVe because um, I've seen that a lot of skincare professionals recommend the CeraVe instead, especially for the night. And for the final touch, I go in with the Milani Rose Water Lip Mask. This is great 
for moisturizing your lips at night. It contains hyaluronic acid to bring the hydration to your lips. So one thing that I started incorporating in the routine that you do not see in the video is this Pixie Glow Tonic. It's an exfoliating toner. I got this in PR. And this, I'm, do, I just started to use it twice a week. This, all I do is grab it in a little cotton pad, put some on my face, put it all over my face, make sure it dries before I proceed to the next. Now, one thing that I don't do is mix this with retinol or any other product that i'm using at night when i wear makeup i do use this copari coconut cleansing oil it looks like this once again i've got this for marshall or i use this a very clean makeup make away cleansing balm this i actually got in the boxy charm but you can find these products i believe you can find it at ulta but once again i found it at marshall's and it was a uh, i think it was like 9.99 now i refuse to use makeup wipes so instead i use a cleansing balm or i use a cleansing oil to make sure it removes all the makeup that i have on my face sometimes i even use it at night to make sure all the sunblock that i have on it just remove all of that so this is it for this video i hope that you guys find this video useful like i said once again i am not a skincare expert it's just things that i've have worked for me and something that i'm still learning about but don't forget if you like the video give the video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you like what you see hit the subscribe button and with this being said it will be on to the next one